Hello, I'm Eric Reynolds at Bandana Man, and today we're going to talk about putting permethrin on your trekking clothes. What's permethrin? Why permethrin, you say? Those are all very good questions. First off, permethrin is a contact insecticide, not an insect repellent. That's a very important point, so let's say it again. It is a contact insecticide, not an insect repellent. It's effective against mosquitoes, biting flies, ticks, fleas, lice, and chiggers. All those things that you really don't want biting it. Nasty things that cause diseases, you don't want them. All right. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be talking about the Sawyer brand today. Sawyer claims that their product is good for 42 days, which is 6 weeks, or 6 washes, whichever comes first. Also, it doesn't stain fabrics, and it doesn't lose its effectiveness when you sweat or get it wet, all of which are important in the woods. It does show a low level of toxicity for mammals, which is important for us that we're putting them on here, but in its wet form can harm cats, so keep it away from cats. Um, so, let's put some on some clothes, alright? It's very simple to apply this to your clothing. Basically, you get about 12 to, or excuse me, 6 to 8 inches away from your clothes and you start spraying them for about 30 seconds, okay? Until they're wet. And that's all you do. Wait 2 to 4 hours and it's dry. Now, this bottle of Sawyer brand permethrin will do two complete outfits. And Sawyer states that an outfit is one shirt, one pair of pants, and two socks. So, once you've treated your outdoor clothes with permethrin, you're good to go. Those bugs will not land on you, and happy days are here at hand. Now, for more information on permethrin, go to my blog, The Woodsman's Journal Online, and look for the article, Why Permethrin? Mosquitoes, Ticks, and Flies. Oh my. For more information there, that's where you'll get it. Now, uh, as always, thanks again to my very long-suffering cameraman who is filming this for the second time since we had technical difficulties yesterday and the original video was lost, unfortunately. So, but all, as always, if you like what you see on Bandana Man Productions, feel free to subscribe. And if you like what you see on the Woodsman's Journal online, please follow me. I'd appreciate it. And as always, if there's comments, please leave them. I do answer them and I try to get to them all as soon as possible. So, until next time, happy trails.